Hey, early deployment. Right over there. All those material. If one thing goes wrong, usually it's really, really bad, right? As opposed to something goes wrong in your car, I mean, it's, maybe it's not that big of a deal, but yeah. you know, little things that go wrong in, in airplanes and rockets, usually it's like a catastrophe. Okay, this was the aft end. It used to have fins. The fins were in here, and that parachute came out of straps this way, and this aft end was drug through a boulder field for about three quarters of a mile, and it just it just destroyed the airframe. Yeah. So, so bummer, right? We had a successful test flight, so we ratcheted it up, got further than we did the last year, yeah. but but there's no rocket to fly. It's just it's waste. We went down to the to NASA, mm -hmm. to Huntsville, Alabama, where the uh, competition was held. And uh, so we felt, you know, we felt, we didn't feel good about it because we're going down there, we've got a pile of junk, yeah. right? You know, we, and, we, and we boxed the stuff up and shipped it down there. So we thought, oh, what a bunch of losers, right? You know, we're gonna, you know. But when we got down there, we realized that, hey, wait a minute. Are we the only team that had failure? No, 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 you know. So they had this like trade fair thing. It's one day and everybody set up at their table, you know, so you can mingle around and see what everybody else's stuff is doing and realize, oh, like Notre Dame was like, you know, about three tables down, there's Notre Dame and they had like this cardboard box with a bunch of little bits and pieces of the shrapnel. That's all that was left from their rocket. So we realized, oh, hey, wait a minute. We're not the, we're not the only team that had this problem. There's lots of teams because this is not easy to do, okay, to get this, to pull this off. So a combination of the fact that we'd had these experiences that built up, uh, coupled with that we had a core team that returned from last year then allowed us to then, um, you know, really, really go through the process and we're highly successful. So we're super awesome because again, there were only two community colleges. This is an international competition and there's a total of two community colleges, Clark College and North Seattle. Keep in mind, when you, when you think about a university like, you know, University of Michigan, you know, the enduring, you know, stuff they've got there and all the, all the facilities that they've got or think of, you know, Cornell or Purdue or whatever, I mean, you know, just think this one through. Think of University of Washington, the infrastructure that they have to facilitate these types of projects, as opposed to what Clark College has as far as infrastructure to support these types of projects. That's a completely different ballgame. We have demonstrated by what's happened here, okay, by the fact that we have managed to get to these competitions and we have managed to like do well and we have managed to we're a community college yeah. we're doing we're, we're right neck and neck with these four-year schools okay yeah. at some level we kind of blown people's minds of, of the scale of what we're actually doing here Clark College if you if you if you put everybody into one big huge ranking and look at the score Clark College got the top score of all schools from Washington and Oregon so the combination of the faculty, the combination of the financial support through the Clark College Foundation, and all this added up, uh, I have believed that Clark College could be like the leading community college on the planet. This Clark College could be like a, a, an ace institution. It could be like world class here. Okay? That's what I've always thought. What I realized is, kind of at some level, hey, we did, didn't we? We made it. Yeah. <laughs> In our, in our little teeny, in our teeny, little teeny space here, right? We made it. What a bunch of losers, right?